The second way that I saw Mary being faithful was in her obedience. Verse 28 says this. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And by the way, just kind of an afterthought, um, you too can be highly favored. Like this isn't just something Mary experienced. That you can experience the favor of God. That God's blessing and favor is on your life. And it happens when we live a faithful life. So Mary had lived really an unidentified life. And I think it's a life she really enjoyed. A life where no one knew her name. She was never asked to speak from the stage. She uh, did not do the welcome or the announcement video. She did not sing in front of the congregation. Mary would have been someone who would have worked behind the scenes and wanted to be behind the scenes. She had lived a pretty unidentified life, and she was following God, doing everything he called her to do. She loved God with all of her heart, but no one noticed. But God did. God noticed. And and many of you are like Mary in that regard, that you love the Lord with everything inside of you. You serve him. You just don't want to be on a stage. You don't want your face on a video. You don't want the spotlight on you. You love serving behind the scenes. But even serving behind the scenes, you may wonder, does anyone notice? And can I reassure you today, God notices. Like God notices those things that you do when no one else is paying attention. I I would say to that mom who stays up late with that newborn and wakes up early and, and, and finally is ready to go out on a date only to have to go change clothes because of a spit up. And, and maybe that mom is like, God, do you even notice me? And I just want you to know today, God notices. Or maybe it's you as an employee who works really hard and, and, and maybe you're the first one to leave, the, the, the first one to arrive and the, the last one to leave. And, and maybe you're helping your colleagues to, to cover some of their work and, and you're doing that and yet you don't get the raise and maybe you get passed over for the promotion. And maybe you want, God, do you even notice? Can I just tell you today? God notices. Like God notices your faithfulness in your obedience to serve him and not to serve men. And so I just want to tell you as a pastor, so many of you serve in so many different areas of our church, and many of you, again, do not want anyone to know, but you use your gifts, your talents, your skills every Sunday, and many of you would say, it's just a small thing, but I want you to know. It makes a huge impact here at STF, but it also makes a huge impact in our community. And I also want you to know, God notices. So let's pick back up in verse 29 through 31. Mary was greatly troubled at the words of Gabriel and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus, which, by the way, just means Yahweh saves. And now listen to the angel's description of Jesus found in verse 32. He will be great. He'll be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Every kingdom comes to an end except for Jesus. That's one of the things I love about being a follower of Christ. You're on the winning side. Like you're on the winning team. And how will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. You know, Mary probably had, as Bree mentioned, a lot of questions running through her mind. Probably the same time when the Lord speaks to you and maybe asks you to do something and you have a gazillion questions running through your head and running through your heart and you're wondering, how in the world, God, why would you choose me? 
of all the people in the world. God, there are so many other people that you could choose. And yet, God, because you've been found faithful, God has chosen to use you in a certain situation. And Mary, even though she had these questions, she did not ask the question of if it would happen, but only how would it happen. And many of us have done it. God, how in the world? Are you going to take someone like me and use me in a way that could bring honor and glory to your name? Well, Luke 1, 35 says this. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Then verse 38 says this. I am the Lord's servant. May your word To me be fulfilled. And then the angel left her. And so when the angel told Mary that her world was going to be turned upside down, I loved how she responded. I'm the Lord's servant. Man, what an amazing title for you to get to wear. You know, a lot of times when you are traveling and you sit next to someone who you've never met before, the first question is always, what's your name? And that's normally followed by, where do you live or what do you do? If you ever wanted to know what Mary did, her answer is so simple and clear. I'm just a servant of the Lord. Wow, if maybe we could change our Twitter heading or our Facebook post of who, what do we do? I'm just a servant of the Lord. What do you do? Anything the Lord asks me to do. That's just what I do because that's who I am. I think it's safe to say that this is one of the greatest statements of faith in the entire Bible. I am the Lord's servant. May it happen to me As you have said. And with those words, Christ and Christmas were born. You know, wonder what the Lord is waiting on in your life for you to say, Yes, Lord, with a surrendered life, I am your servant. Do to me whatever you please. And I wonder in that response, If the Lord is just waiting to, through you, bring about, maybe not Christmas, but to bring about change in our world for his good and for his glory. Now, did Mary's heart skip a beat? I I think so. Um, Did Mary get nervous? I believe so. See, questioning, but not afraid. Wondering, but not terrified. Unsure but not uncertain. 